welcome back to the Stark Arena. It's the final full day of competition here at the 2023 World Championships. We're live from Belgrade, Serbia. Again, I'm joined by 2020 Tokyo Olympian, Frederick Berahus of Denmark. And we'll welcome in a special guest to tonight's show, 2022 World Runner-Up, Turple Bissell Tonoff. But before we do that, we'll review the finals at 60, 72, and 97 kilos as Arthur Alexanian, the white bear from Armenia, will look to become a five-time world champion. Let's start with the importance of this competition as this will be the first of six Olympic qualification events for the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. The wrestlers who finish with a gold, silver, or a bronze medal automatically qualify. And then in a twist, United World Wrestling for the first time ever has introduced a true fifth match known as the Paris Olympic qualification spot, which will be the loser from the third place bouts wrestling in a fifth place match at 1700 live here in Belgrade. We'll get to that a little bit later. So five spots instead of six. Prior to 2019, it was the top six. Here in Belgrade, it's the top five. But let's move into the Tyshawn match of the day. Frederick, this wasn't necessarily the highest scoring match that we've seen, but it was a rising star versus a living legend in Riza Kayap of Turkey looking for world title number five against a guy who he's beat twice, once in Tokyo and then in the 2022 World Finals in Amin Mirzazadeh out of the Islamic Republic of Iran. These guys jousted for position for nearly six minutes, but the difference in the match was Riza Kayalp's gas tank running out near the five minute and 30 second mark with Mirza Zadeh picking up a step out with 10 seconds left to pick up the 2-2 victory in criteria. Frederick, awesome match, but where do you think Riza Kayalp went wrong in the 130 kilo finals? Uh, first of all, this was maybe the most exciting uh, 130 kilogram match I've ever seen. Um, KLP used a lot of energy in this in the first round, using the front headlock, a static momentum, and that's a, that's a big guy just to stand with. Um, a lot of energy right there. Do you think that that was the problem, is that he used so much energy in that front head pinch in that first period that he just didn't have any gas left in the second? He used a lot of energy there, but also in the exchange right after, where on the Saturday he was almost getting on his back. Both of them were mo moving like uh, a 60... Uh, seven kilogram guys. It was amazing to watch. Yeah, and I loved it, what yeah. you said. It was the best 130 kilo match I've ever seen as well. But heading into the 2024 Paris Olympic Games, do you think Riza Kayalp is still the favorite or has the crown been passed to Mirza Zadeh? Yeah, I don't think so. Um, now it's uh, two to one. Um, but uh, yesterday we, we saw another uh, another uh, KL, but uh, I think he will get through at the Olympics. So I still have him. Yeah, this will certainly motivate Riza Kayal moving forward. Next up, we'll take a look at the Nike wrestling move of the day. For all your Nike UWW merchandise, head on over to uwwstore.com. The only five-point Greco-Roman move of the day so far came from Greece's Leon Kisidis as he put five on the board against Bexultan Mahmoudov going left side, right side, up to his feet, making Bexultan's feet touch the ceiling here at the Stark Arena. What was the most impressive part about this five-point move, Frederick? So many impressive parts. Um, first he feints over to the left, goes back to the right, adjusts his grip, lifts his up, and those big guys up on the shoulder and then smack down for five points. Just amazing work by yeah, the Cities. The ceiling has been repaired here, so we're gonna move into the upset of the day. It was Gabriel Rizzio of Cuba shutting out 2021 world champion from the Islamic Republic of Iran, Mohammed Hadi Saravi in the semifinals to punch his ticket against Arthur Alexanian tonight. But the difference in this match was the passivity. Rizzio received the passivity in the first, but what I liked is his tactics in the second period. He came out firing on all cylinders, picked up the takedown in the second period, extended his lead to 3-0, but the biggest difference was keeping the referees off his back. So how vital was it for him to come out and pick up that opening takedown in the second period? And this um, this situation, uh, this is what you want to do as a wrestler. Take the referee out of the fight, show that you are do, uh, able to uh, take a takedown or a step out. But why do more guys not do that? If you it, you saw how successful it was that he didn't get hit for passivity, so he all he had to do was defend on his feet. Rather than going down, you know you give up that one point and with the potential to give up a gutter or four pointer, wh whatever it is. But why do more guys not come out firing? 
if you're coming out firing and uh, it doesn't help you and, still, and you still go down in the patel situation, you're maybe gassed out to the last minute where you want to uh, come back. So people are saving their energy. Conserve the energy is key. We'll see Rosio tonight in the 97 kilo finals live on UWW+. And before we take a look at tonight's gold medal bouts, we'll welcome in special guest from Denmark, reigning world runner-up, Turple Bissell Tonoff. Turple, come on in. Before we get to the gold medal finals, we'll talk about your surgery. You underwent shoulder surgery. So let's talk about your rehab and moving forward into the 2024 Paris Olympic Games. Let's start here. How's the rehab going? The rehab is uh, going very good. Uh, everything is going uh, after the plans. And uh, yeah, I'm three or four months in. And uh, I think next week I can start a little bit wrestling, um, only standing, no patea, but it's a start. And uh, I'm very excited to come back because I, yeah, I missed it so much. So what is going to be the first competition where we're going to see you back on the mat? Do you have a, a goal for where you want to be? I don't know yet. Uh, I have to yeah, make a plan with the coach uh, after the Worlds, actually, and uh, see w which tournament is uh, good to come back at. I uh, haven't been on the mat since ap April, so so yeah, I'm excited to, to know where I'm going to fight and everything. From one wrestler to another, this is usually where I would throw in a weight joke, but I'm not going to do that. We're going to move into the gold medal finals for tonight. We'll start at 60 kilos, where it'll be Jolomon Sharshin back off the reigning world champion taking on fellow world champion from Japan, Kenichiro Fumida. Let's talk about this. There's a big difference in Greco-Roman wrestling from the Asian style to the European style. What do you think that difference is? I think the difference is uh, the Asians, they're more, they, yeah, they like to make a show, they throw a lot, they risk a lot, and the Europeans, they're more like tactical, go for 1-1 one, one maybe. So, so yeah, I, I guess the, the, this is the difference. Showman for Asia versus the tacticians for the Europeans. Give me your pick. 60 kilos, you going Sharsh and Bekov for Fumida? I go, I go for Sharsh and Bekov. We're going to move to the 72 kilo finals from France. It'll be Ibrahim Ganam taking on Robert Frisch of Hungary for the gold medal. And for Robert Frisch, he may not be the most technical wrestler that you're going to see here in the competition, but this is a guy that can compete for six solid minutes. And we saw that yesterday against Ar Ali Arslan of Serbia. So real quick. Is there a guy that you have wrestled that maybe not, he didn't have the best technique, but is a guy that competed for six hard minutes? The, I think they have, uh, I guess there have been a couple of uh, those, but I, uh, I would say one of my biggest rivals right now, uh, David Losonji from Hungary. Uh, yeah, he, he might be one of the strongest, one of the yeah best conditioned guys uh, is in my weight class right now. So yeah, I would go for him. And who are you going in the finals? You going Frisch or Ganam? Uh, I think the tactical Ganam would, uh, would would take the goal. And we'll close things out here at 97 kilos with the premier matchup of the night as Gabriel Rizzio of Cuba will try to stop Arthur Alexanian, the white bear from Armenia, from winning world title number five. Let's talk about this. What makes Arthur Alexanian so great? <laughs> I guess the motivation, but he's he's built different. I would say he's like he's yeah crazy this guy i don't have never seen any guy like him uh, but if you mention he has been at high level uh, in 11 years so the motivation the the hard work uh, he put in uh, yeah so that'll be the 97 kilo finals arthur alexanian won his first Olympic medal when you were only 10 years old. You're 21 years old now, but to think about that sustained greatness over the t the amount of time that he's done it is impressive. But let's move to the other side. Rosio, what does he have to do to upset Arthur Alexanian? I guess he has to defend the gut range and uh, maybe as he did yesterday against uh, the Iranian guy, make a high tempo fight with Alexanian and then uh, then you would see what what's uh, what's happening. But if you mention Alexander won Olympics, lost the finals at the Olympics and won the bronze. So he had all the the feeling of winning, losing. So 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 yeah, it's gonna be an upcoming guy against the established guy uh, tonight uh, at yeah, the finals. And if there's one thing that we've learned here in Belgrade, it's anything is possible. Nobody is unbeatable. We're gonna to move to the team scores. It's Azerbaijan sitting in first after the opening day of Greco-Roman action with 70 points. In second is Iran, third is Turkey, fourth Uzbekistan, and fifth is Georgia. Eight points separate the third through the fifth place teams. 
And before we close out tonight's show, we'll take a look at the Olympic qualifiers starting at 77 kilos, where it was Kyrgyzstan, Azerbaijan, Japan, Uzbekistan, in Armenia. And then at 130 kilos, it was Iran, Turkey, Cuba, Egypt, and China. That'll do it for day eight here at the UWW Roundup Show, live from Belgrade, Serbia, the 2023 World Championships. You can watch them live at 1800 local time. For Turple, for Frederick, I've been Eric Olanowski saying so long, wrestling fans.